Hello everyone, welcome to my January bullet journal setup. For the past two years I have kept a bullet journal and for the month of January I have done a moon and stars kind of theme for it. So I decided to keep that tradition going and do a moon phases theme for this cover page. And this was inspired by Amanda Rach Lee her October spread, I believe it was, and there were also a few pictures I found on Pinterest that I will try to link down below if I can find them again that inspired the next few spreads. So I am using some watercolors. This is the Scrivewell notebook and it seemed to handle them pretty well. It did wrinkle a little bit, but nothing compared to the Peter Popper Press notebook or the Redco notebook that I used previously. And I am using metallic watercolors too, which is fun for me. I've been meaning to do a separate video about the metallic watercolors, so hopefully that will be coming up either later this month or in February. And then once the watercolors dried, I ended up using a white gel pen to put some little stars on, like little galaxies where the moon isn't. <laughs> and then I wanted to do a monthly tracking and events kind of page. And last year I did a page at the beginning of my notebook that was a photo for every month of the year. This year I decided I'm going to put the photos in each month's like monthly spread. So I have a little spot in the upper left hand corner for my photo and then right next to that is where I am writing out the events. So I just did a little like galaxy cloud the same way I did the moons on the first page and I made a little section for the events numbered 1 through 31 and then Underneath where the photo is, I'm making a little section for just random notes throughout the month or things I need to do. And then on the next page, I am going to once again try tracking because there are a few things I would like to keep track of. So I am going to attempt it slightly differently than I have in the past. In the past, I have made the like giant grid with a list of things you will track on the side and you would fill in the space for the 30 days or however long it is. This time I am trying mini calendars with different colors for different things rather than just I did this or I did not do this. So for example, the top one is going to be reading and I am keeping track of the number of pages that I'm reading each day. So I have a color for zero pages, a color for 1 to 20 pages, a color for 20 to 40, etc. And I think I put 80 plus as the maximum because on a normal day I'm definitely not going to read more than that. But there are days when I will just finish a book in a day. So I'm going to do different colors and I think that will help me keep track better than just being like, yes I read or no I did not read at all. And the same thing for workouts, so I have like a rest day, I have stretches, I have the Blogilates calendars that I like to do, and sometimes I like to do yoga and switch things up so then I can see which exercises I am doing on what day. And then I want to keep track of when I have washed my hair, so this is different than the other ones because it's either I washed my hair on that day or I didn't. So I usually go a few days without washing my hair even though I do shower just about every day. And then I didn't film it but I did end up adding another box at the bottom for plant watering because I have a few plants that get watered at different times so I want to keep track of that as well and be a better plant parent. And I stuck with colors that sort of matched the theme of the month so I stuck with pinks and purples and blues to keep with the sort of 
galaxy, moon and stars, clouds theme, and I did put a little bit of washi tape on the bottom of the page and for when I put my photo, so it can look like I just taped it in there. And then for my weekly spreads, I wanted to have a little calendar so I could see all the days of the month during my weekly spread as well, so I don't have to keep flipping back and forth. And I did look up the moon phases for every day in January. I hope I found the correct calendar and did it right. If not, it's just going to have to stay this way. And if you decide to copy it, make sure you look up the correct phases of the moon if that's what you are interested in doing. And I'm using my watercolor pencils and the metallic watercolors once again and doing little galaxy moon phases. I'm just keeping the spread very very simple, just separating it into the boxes and then the moon phases will be where the numbers of the days go. And I am switching to the white gel pen for the days where the darker color is showing more than the metallic silver color just so I can see it a little bit better. And I did go back and add stars with the gel pen as well. The way I painted it, the metallic got into the water for the watercolors. So the normal watercolors ended up looking a little sparkly too, but I think it looks good. So I'm happy with that. And here's a little close-up of me painting one of the moon phases. And then here's a little flip through of how everything looks a little bit more filled out. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!